Welcome to the Religiously Offensive Podcast. Um, Every, I'm, everyone I'm sitting knows on a what little mode is really, yeah. It's all those podcasts. Do you, you know, know what that case? is? I, yeah, I've never heard that. So much life. pooping. Commode. You've heard of the head, the head of the toilet? No, the head. Like in the military, they'd be like, "Gotta hit the head." <laughs> oh yeah, no. That see, I didn't know that one. That one's like peeing. Right? I thought hit the head was like hit the head. Oh, like I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. Like, that's it. What's yeah? What's the word for nail? To sleep. Hit the hit the hay. Hit the hay. Is oh. that what it is? Mm. But what, they're all the stupid. <laughs> what are we talking about with the commode? Oh, they just, the squatty potty is like ergonomically made to wrap around it. So it's not like in the way. Yeah. But what is just, that? The squatty potty? The commode. The commode is the toilet. Yeah. It's, it's synonymous to toilet. Absolutely. As far as I know. Really? <laughs> yeah. I've never heard that word in Ask my life. Nine out of 10 people. They'll tell you what that is. <laughs> or Google. Well, me and Gabby must be the... Two out of ten. <laughs> I'm just unintelligent as fuck. Yeah, I, I don't know what the commode too. is. I don't either. <laughs> commode is, you know, pretty um Komodo dragon. I felt like that was pretty universal, but we're just dating ourself, yeah, ourselves. You, I guess so. Old. That is that yeah. is interesting. Wait, how much older are Kyle, you than I bet him? Kyle doesn't know. Oh, five, five six years. years? He six could years. though. Kyle knows a lot of random stuff that my old people would in, know. He's an old soul. Days. I turned twenty eight. Kyle likes George Strait. All right. Christian's birthday is Tuesday. Tuesday. Fun fact, yeah. Nice. What, uh, so anyway, how old and child are you? Um, him? I'm five. Five, five probably about five years. Five years. Over five years. So that means I'm eight. Are you a millennial? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Didn't we establish that you were two? Uh-huh. Okay. You're just on the young, the younger side of it or on the older side of it. Yeah. Or how many years is the generation technically each one? Thought, when do they switch over? I thought it's like. Sam. No, no, no. <laughs> is it like 15? Yeah. Maybe, maybe closer Plus, to 15. Cause you would think it's like, if it's supposed to be a generation, you know, mm-hmm. it should be more than 10 years. Mm-hmm. I'm not really having like 10 year olds aren't here. having kids. I mean, we're, we're really gen Y. But, you know, it's called millennial. Interesting. No one ever says Gen Y. What happens after Gen Z? They go back to A? I think the world ends. Cool. <laughs> of the apocalypse. Cool. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Cool I'm going to burn the whole thing down. Whoever started all this was real smart. He just knew. Yeah. The Mayans. Gen yeah, A. They were a few years off. Time they to get figured to Z. It out. Gen A to Z. What's interesting is that, like, that's based on our alphabet, right? So you wonder, is it like in other countries that don't have the same alphabet, do they call their generation something different? <clears throat> yeah, is that purely an American thing? Yeah, I don't know. Probably. Probably. We like to do our own thing, you know? <laughs> we do. Like, well, other countries sometimes adopt stuff that we do. I'm fine with, you like, know? most of it, but the whole, like, I just don't understand why we ever left the metric system based on, like, tens. Yeah, I, I agree. It's like, let's just make everything divisible by 12 now. Or roundabout. Well, yeah, that's easy. Mm. Roundabouts like are fantastic. We are, we no, are anti-roundabout. But we should We're not getting be, there, though. Yeah, we should there should be. There should be, they should be everywhere. Yeah. They, are, they are, granted, like, you can still have backed up traffic, but yeah. what it creates is an efficient situation where traffic regulates itself. Yeah, it's I use not one like, every day coming out of my neighborhood. I have one. To dude, can you imagine? My can you imagine? Oh, I oh. could get here so much faster if Alafaya had roundabouts instead of lights. Because I'm I'm stuck there at freaking six in the morning. Bro, there'd be so and there's many this light. It's red. Yeah. Literally, no one's there. I'm just like, why is this light red? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and it's illegal for me to go through it. So many people getting hit by cars. It definitely, as a society, we would have to get better at roundabouts in general. Like, this, like obviously, a single lane curve. is easier, but curve. like once you get into like two, three lane roundabouts, it just gets a little nutty. Yeah, I was more. So might take a few like laps before you stop. Signs. You, dude, it's not that hard. Get those. I mean, out. I've in when I drove in yeah. Ireland and Trash. when I drove in Scotland, it was pretty easy to get used to. 
because it, it shows you the lanes, just like when you're turning, the lanes will show you the result of where you're going. So it'll be like, talking about like GPS. No, like the lane, as you go, you know how oh, like painted the arrows on the, lane. on the lanes, gotcha, gotcha. right? So it's painted on there. So you just say, okay, well, this lane goes to Alafaya. This lane goes to yeah. the side road. And then if they go in this lane, it basically is like turning right. But most roundabouts are kind of like on, especially on not as traffic roads. They're like, uh, it's just kind of like, a just go around the circle and go wherever, like, like the one going into your neighborhood. Mm-hmm. I like that one, which is pretty easy. It's very easy to manage, you know, like three roads. Yeah. It's yeah. like the and just beginner level. Yeah. The problem is like, I don't, for some reason, just the way you can tell people aren't used to driving roundabouts when they whip around the circle and in front of your neighborhood. Cause it's just mm-hmm. like, literally it's like they whip around just like knowing like, Hey, back off. Like, it's yeah. just like, they want you to just know. Well, cause proper like roundabout, like right of way if I'm not mistaken is once you're in it, you have first right car away. in. Yeah. Yeah. So if someone's coming around, cause this happens to me almost every Unless time I come a, home, like a multi-lane, but yeah, cause I'll, first one in. I'll be coming around and I think most people expect me to keep going straight. Right. Most people but do. You don't. Yeah. And I like keep going to go into the neighborhood and almost every time we like, I come like to a head with someone and I'm, <laughs> and what do you do? And I'm just like, you need to learn how to use this thing, buddy. Yeah. Getting sick of doing this. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you use it more often too, it's like, it's, It'd be sweet because you can basically tell when people are slowing down to get off of it or mm-hmm. keep going. And you kind of like anticipate I like, like when you learned how to turn left when you were in driver's ed. Fast car. Yeah. Yeah. Go fast, turn left. <laughs> Another left turn. <laughs> is it left or is it right? Do they go left? They go left, right? Yeah. They go counterclockwise. It is left. Yeah. Yeah. That would be crazy Dang. to go right though. Just have one race where it's all right. Can you imagine? People would be so screwed up. I don't know what to do. I was. It's probably because the wheels on the left side of the car, right? Like if they were to drive NASCAR type stuff in Europe, would they turn right because the wheels on the right side of the car? Probably. These are the questions that haunt me at night. Because I think you just have more control turning whatever side of the car the wheels on. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. Gabby, you what ever do you watch mean NASCAR? the wheel? There's wheels on all sides, right? The steering wheel. I think the steering wheel. Oh. <laughs> You're, so, cars in Europe, the steering wheel's on the right. Are there more wheels or doors on a car? But what do you, why does <laughs> no, it matter no. if the wheel's on a certain side? No, the steering wheel. Well, I know, but why does it matter? If well, it's like, it's easy to like turn like left because you see like you're on the side where you're turning into versus like so you're imagine turn right okay so it's more of a blind imagine turn. imagine your steering so wheel race. was on the other side of your car and you were still to like try to drive on the right side of the road right well, I feel like it'd just be the same well the problem is because people tend to like cheat toward the side of the car they're not physically on because you want to you tend to protect yourself more than anything. And so like if you're zipping by someone at 50 miles an hour on a road that doesn't have a median, then like you're there on the side of the car. You can tell right there how much room you have so that you don't come and hit this other guy. So if like Mm. you were both on opposite sides of the car, it's easier for you to like not pay attention as much, cheat over the line a little bit. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's kind of the bigger reason. The reason like the reason the UK drives on the other side, like I couldn't tell you. Cause I think it's, yeah, it's dumb. interesting. So UK and you, you cannot, sit. you can't turn right on, or you can't, well, for them to be left, you can't turn left on red, which is stupid. But so in, oh, that's interesting. In the UK, the steering wheels on the right side and then you drive on the left side of the road. Yep. So they're just completely opposite. Yeah. I thought you could turn left on red. You just can't turn right on red. Nope. Can't turn left on red. The left on red would be their equivalent to our right on red. Right. And they can't do You're that. not allowed. Oh. Stay on the left side. Yeah. So if you combine so our systems, you'd get like the perfect system. Like it a it. <laughs> it is weird. Like why we do it different or they do it different or yeah. like what's the reason? What yeah, is the reason? I mean, we just wanted to give them a big middle finger after the revolutionary war. No, like, I mean, by the, the thing way, is, cars were, we're also doing everything the exact opposite. <laughs> well, no, Suck the it. thing is like cars were invented here. It's like, why, why, oh, you know what so I mean? They are giving us the finger. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're just probably, we bitter. went with the, we went with the Imperial system. So they're just like, yeah, they're just salty. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's it funny, it. but like they do have a lot better provision over there for like bikers and walkers and all that stuff. But with like aviation, they do but like, they're, they're smaller towns too. So it's like, it's kind of hard to compare more that. More people bike than dr- drive or 
No, uh-uh. but there are more bikers in general there, I would say. But it's just like Edinburgh is really the only big city you can compare to a place like Orlando or something because it's like it, they don't have as many big cities there. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to like compare. And you could say all day that our public transport sucks, but it wasn't designed. Our cities weren't designed for public transport. Mm. So I also like that they say petrol. 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 What's, what's petrol? Gas. Gas. Petroleum. Oh. Petroleum. Petroleum. Oh. Petrol. Petrol. Troll. Petrol. So that's what they say when they say they got to go get gas. Petrol. Yeah. Yeah. And what's, what's actually cool there is, uh, they, so like when you fill up the gas, you don't, you don't like, there was no card reader or anything at any of the gas stations, which I had forgot how it worked in Ireland. I think it was the same way, but basically you, you still, it's still the honor system over there. So you get your gas and then you go pay for it. No, I thought it was, no, you're right. Because they, I remember the first time a college t- uh, friend of mine saw me fill up gas. He was mm-hmm. like, wait, what? <laughs> he was like, how do you know if you go in and prepay Yeah, with cash or something? They're like, how do you know how much it's going to be if you haven't pumped it yet? Exactly. And I'm like, <laughs> well, you got to pay change. for it. Yeah. He's like, but what if it's not full? I'm like, you go back in and give him more money. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, and he was like wow. baffled by that. Well, well, it is a dumb system, and it's because of all the like theft that went on. But that I will say too, it's like it used to be where you just get gas and then pay after. Like it used to be that way here. Yeah. Because like, I mean, for the first, I mean, what like probably ten years that I have my license, I mean, I could do it that way. But now you just use your card, and it's all oh, fine. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good now. You've got a fun fact from Kyle. Uh. He said, from the beginning, our horse races were run counterclockwise as an act of defiance against the British. You know, that had something to do with it then. And then when NASCAR built speedways, it kept the tradition. So I don't know if that's accurate, but... I'd rather oh, watch horses race than cars. So then, Me too. So in Britain, horse, horses run clockwise? Would know. that be the inference? I don't know. I, I need to go back and watch some... Uh, Peaky blowing this. You ever see that video what, of Snoop Dogg and direction they're running? Kevin Hart see, watching the horse races. Yeah, and he's like uh. he's grip walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the like the show horses though, <laughs> the not like the races. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were dying. Oh, that was, was a great so bit. Funny. Yeah, that was fantastic. Said, oh, that horse from the hood. <laughs> Snoop Dogg is an incredible commentator. Uh, them together, I think it's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Snoop Dogg crushes all of it. <laughs> but yeah, I would love so to funny. watch some horse races. Yeah, like bet on them. I don't know. I, I would totally be down for like slope. not betting like, like a Kentucky lot of money. Derby one year. Sure, five just bucks. like for fun. Yeah, like make it like a bucket list thing. Go to the to Derby. What? It's probably expensive. Um, super we're big expensive. Fans Derby, I'm sure it's remember, expensive. Remember we That's looked up the, the NASCAR or go. Daytona 500 yeah. tickets? Yeah. It was crazy. Maybe start with like Churchill Downs or like the Preakness, like one of the other Triple Crowns before we do the big one, big dog. Those has got to be cheaper. The horse names are my favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are great. So Seabiscuit. creative. Secretariat. <laughs> yeah. So good. Yeah. No, I would love to name a horse. We should How all would you name we it? should all get one together. I don't know. We Sydney, should all get a horse I, together. <laughs> Sydney's mom has two horses and it is like a full work. In Florida? Job. Oh, it yeah. yeah. Well, your kids do that stuff. Yeah, you don't. You you wait till your kids are old enough to take care of a horse. I remember I had horseback riding lessons as a kid, and yeah, you have to like clean yeah. their yeah. feet. What do they call them? Horseshoes. Oh, they're horseshoes. Yeah, they would need reshoed yeah, after so like many years. Get the get the dirt out of them and chisel it. Yeah. Have you ever seen yeah. someone like reshoe kind of a horse? Actually. Yeah, I love it's those nuts. Videos. It's, it's insane. Cool. It's like they treat their hoof just like a piece of lumber. Yeah, it's like not even. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? As if it's, it's not. Yeah. Pull them out. It's like a fingernail. Like I guess you could you could see it as it's kind of the same thing. I don't where, know. Where they, a they nail tech like, would like shave someone's fingernail. Yeah. Oh, but they like pry it off. They mm. put nails into it. <laughs> it's and it's crazy. just like how yeah. the horse doesn't feel any of this. <laughs> well, just like we might have had this conversation yeah. already, but like, I mean, when did we start putting? horseshoes on horses i mean probably when their hooves got so screwed up from all the crap they had to walk on but like native americans that would like ride around horses like i don't i gotta believe they're not like putting hooves on these things no they have hooves or i mean uh horseshoes Horseshoes. yeah so i i would say that it's like probably like a 
once the horse got injured, they stopped using it. Because I wonder if it's one of those things like, you know, if like you have a dog and you like walk your dog a lot on like cement or if he's on gravel type stuff, like you don't ever really need to cut their nails because they like naturally file down. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you just ride the horse naturally, what? because don't their hooves like just keep growing? Oh, my horse knowledge is not there. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I can only imagine it has something to do too with like progress and like the surfaces your horses are walking on and long longer journeys. Yeah, Just probably making to... them do more stuff. I wonder if you're supposed to weight. do anything for your dog because I I can't imagine like how hot like the concrete is sometimes here in Florida. They say you're supposed to put the back of your hand in it. Like if it's uncomfortable for your, the back of your hand, you shouldn't let your dog walk on it. That's I want to get always, my dog some shoes. Well, what if your dog? I'd be down. What if your dog's an idiot and it just life. runs out onto the hot pavement? My dogs would for sure. You do can't. That. You can't control that. They'll probably run back. Right. My dogs will like out. try to find like the, if I ever take them on the walk, like you'll see them like try to like find cool the shade. Spots. Yeah, I can spot. So if you so you've seen your dogs like freak out because it's hot before. Not freak out, but like They're they like, definitely like find jump. the shade and like mm. chill there for a second. Yeah, the day we that you brought them disking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were just going from like shade spot to shade spot because it was a hot one. Mm -hmm. Poor babies. Oh, they got that workout though. They were limping all weekend after that. Bro, my butt is bruised again from that last pickleball day from Monday when we went like bruised four and a half. or sore. Wow. I've no, I've noticed this like when it's like, dude, I I've been in so much like my lower back has been jacked up and my like I was so sore like I probably shouldn't. Like, even if I was like, someone was going to play that, I probably shouldn't, but it's, it's the same thing from when I, we started and it was just a new, I had evidently out of shape, but I noticed like there was like all this like bruising up along like the top how outer bruising, of my butt. How bruising though? Like visibly br bruised. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you after this. How? <laughs> I don't understand how you're, did you fall well, on your No, ass? it's just, it must be something with, it's like, a, it was just a really intense workout that was evidently, there must've been some like element of micro tearing. I mean, I, I don't feel like I tweaked a muscle or pulled it, but it's like the level of soreness, like, and my back, like the, the day after I could barely walk. But it's like the bruising. <laughs> for the real. bruising is that mind happen? blowing. Because bruising is normally an impact yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. You need that ice bath. It's <laughs> on the way, bro. I, it is I on the way. That. I don't know. I'm being that, but I've been doing cold showers. Good for you. I've been crushing my morning routine the last week, bro. Fire me Game up. changer. I feel like someone's been slipping you a roofie and then pounding you from behind. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine I'm how just, the bruising happens. Not that we really need how to stay on that, mind? but I, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, sorry. I feel like the, uh, the bruise. Yeah. You know, I don't know. We got to bring some anything's balance possible. to this conversation. Anything's possible. Oh man. It's like, uh, who's, who's the person that claimed <laughs> that like a demon type. would like rape them in their sleep? <laughs> what? What'd we just, that's a thing. How did we get what? here? It's like this is the end. You <laughs> I mean, no, it's 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 more it's I more popular in other like cultures where they do more like witchcraft and it's more like that kind of stuff. But it's definitely not uncommon that people have beliefs that they've been like assaulted sexually by. But I mean, they could sleep. easily just be drugged and then like violated by the witch or doctor. just a dream. Yeah, who knows? Oh man, world's messed up. Where is this? <laughs> Took but a I just, turn. Yeah. I, I mean, I just feel like that's like the dude that just wants to like Good hide, demon, baby. hide his gayness and just be like, yeah. So I don't know. This random bruising keeps happening. I'm just working out. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you want to talk so about stupid. something? Hey, I'm open. I'm an open, open book, open mind. Why would anybody even see it unless uh, they were doing the bounding? That's uh, yeah. I guess Justin did bring it it's up. up on the, it's like the up outside. Yeah. But I remember you saying like initially when you played, your butt was like sore and first, stuff. Well, yeah, the first few times I started getting into it because I just been Which that's, so out of shape. Well, the thing is like too, that. like you bend your knees a lot, so your glutes are activated all the time. When, when I'm like in game like mode, five hours. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> when I'm in like game mode, I'm not thinking about like like taking it easier. I'm out of shape. I just like balls to the balls as much as my body will let me. So I kind of just went from like no balls activity to, to just just kind of zero to a hundred. Yeah, no, I get it. Real quick. Yesterday we did that. What'd you say? Real quick. Oh, do you want to say something? No, zero, <laughs> oh. zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> oh, he's like, hey, uh, real so, quick. Yeah, yeah. So, excuse me. Yeah. So, no, it's, uh, we went, and, and this is just going to be like a catch up, have fun pod, since we haven't done one in a while. Squatty So potty. we talk whatever about whatever we want. Squatty pod. Um, so Squatty we went pod, to this. I love that. 
We went to this place called Battleground. You can name a whole yesterday. podcast after that. Like, and it was, like a, it was like a laser tag thing. And um, it's basically doubles as like a paintball. So they have two indoor paintball thing arenas, and then they have like two outdoor ones. And the place is kind of in the ghetto, but it was... Uh, it was it was sweet because you would just like play laser tag and like there's all these barriers and all this stuff and it's not like the typical cheesy like loud music and the dark and the haze. You're just like in a paintball arena, so it's just like you're just and then you're playing these games and they have like you can switch the types of guns you have, and like you have this headband instead of like a vest, mm. and so it makes it a little more challenging because if you're aiming like your head's exposed, but you got to get headshots. Uh, they had games where like, it's like your snipers to where like, you're basically like, so you're not wearing a vest though. Mm -mm. That's cool. Yeah. So you have like, you have like different settings, obviously, like you have like the machine gun settings and like the, there's ones where you can switch your gun to like a health thing and shoot your partners and it like raises their health. It's pretty cool. Like game modes and stuff, but, uh, Mm -hmm. the arenas were disgusting because of the, all the paintballs. So it's like literally yeah. like, and, and the paint is white, which is, it's like, I wish it was just a different color because Super it reflected it. Well, no, it just looked like cum all over the walls. <laughs> it was so gross. Um, and then, but I didn't even realize how gross it was. I was telling Gabby until like rolled, I did like a tactical roll <laughs> and like, and like, I was like, Oh my gosh, this is so disgusting. It was is it like bad. wet. It's, it's like, it doesn't dry. So like a lot of them, it's just like, you know, the inside of like a Cadbury egg, like the white cream stuff, like the sugary, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It was like that. Yeah. So it was just, it was, Man, wear it the was long a, sleeves next time. It was, yeah, That's right. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. And sweatpants. It was, it, that was part was kind of gross, but I was just saying I got a massive workout because it was like two hours a playing and you're just sitting there like crouched, like doing the whole, like, you know, cod sneak. And is it like a one shot kill or is it like, no, you have you like a, a headshot, life. It's a dead. Yeah. So or... your life meters on your gun and you, you, <sighs> you shoot people cool. and it's like, keeps track of your points and your kills and your, is the gun connected to something that you have to carry or is the gun totally just like autonomous guns, a gun. Yeah. It's just, the but gun. it's no, like there's no wire that's connected no, to anything else. No, it's just the headset the gun. and the guns is all wireless. Dude, the that's sweet. Yeah. It was pretty fun. Cause I haven't played like a next generation technology type of like laser tag. All I remember was like where the big vests and like, which a lot of those like still a, are at like the family entertainment centers and stuff. Dude, and then they cool. have the like obstacles, but like this was, the outside ones were sweet because they were massive, you know. So that was pretty cool. We should this go is, paintballing. That would be fun. They have paintball there, it's so you nice buy a box and like you rent the guns. Outing a box of like two thousand paintballs. I think it was like how bad bucks. does it hurt? Have, you, have any of you guys done that? Yeah, it doesn't feel good. It hurts. It does not feel good. I've only been once. Airsoft may like be a, a better segue into paintball. It, it just hurts less. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're wearing like a but the paint, but there's not paint that explodes on you when you get hit, right? So that's that's, true. that's the fun part, right? Oh, and airsoft, correct? I don't know and if paintball. Call it fun. That's well, <laughs> paintball's dope. I mean, it is but that's fun how you can do. see physically that you hit somebody. Right. Yeah, right. Or yeah. we could. Do they have like leagues where we or could join a league screaming. and we could all play on the same team so we don't have to shoot each other? Join a league? We would get boom I'm not, roast. Yeah, I'm not doing. I didn't. They're want probably to do that. beginners. I would assume they have like levels. I played once when I was 11. <laughs> Oh, we snip in here I've every day. Played. I'm not joking. Right, I've played, like played like twice in my life. <laughs> yeah. One time. Did you not used to go with us? Like, oh, you're not you no. went to a different church. We yeah. would go like, oh, oh dude. Yeah. Paintball's Paintball? dope. Oh, yeah. You go, no, you go all the fun. time. That's what I, I went with church friends. So I, mm. I went twice. One time was with a bunch of a group of Royal Rangers. And then. Uh, but we used to use the pump guns like back in the day. It's like a one shot. Oh, yeah. Well, then yeah. you'd have Buddy who brings in his semi auto, like. Yeah. Crank his his pressure's all cranked up it's like blue chrome and yeah. he's got like the the, oh my the sleeve of like backup balls and you're just like you're in the we're in the wrong someone's in the wrong place yeah he's got like the freaking he's like sitting there the double trigger he's sitting there just doing this and then like you're you're sitting there <laughs> I do love those like speed rounds or the speed games where they have the inflatables outside mm-hmm. that that's cool. sweet problem is like what some of, there's a couple of the guys that took their pressure way up and so like those mm. balls would hurt way more. Or you freeze them. Well, the problem is the first time yeah, I actually ever played, no, my dad and I went out there and basically 
we were all we thought we were all smart because we had like these white like jumpers on like because it was snowing out we were like all right we'll be camo so the the problem is so you got as soon as you get hit dude well the problem was the problem was that added like a layer of padding so then we had like our clothes and then we had that on and because of that the balls weren't breaking and and it was like colder so the balls already kind of had a harder time and so dude we were just getting pelted but you stay in the game because it we stayed in the game, but I would rather have been out yeah. because it's like, you're not out until the paint breaks on you. Do they have paintballing around here? I, didn't they? The place I just told you about has paintball. Oh, that's just, okay. Okay. Yeah. You said it's in the Ultima area. Mm-hmm. Battleground. It's cool. That's pretty sick. Yeah. I'm definitely down for more activities like that. Fun activities. Battlefield. <laughs> Battleground. What is it? Battlefield. Oh, I see Battleground. Yeah. They have a, also have a Warrior Sports Park. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. It says we offer low impact 50 caliber paintball. That sounds I like better. the low impact. That sounds much better. <laughs> low impact? Oh, that just... Dang, that... they're open until midnight, that battleground place? Yeah, we were there till uh, there like night 11. Ball? We were there till sweet. 11 something last night. Free pizza and pictures. Forget about the pictures. Yeah, so it, it's yeah we did. So we talking like Chuck E. Cheese pizza. The, the one Probably. mistake, the one mistake free we did make was we went yeah. to Kobe beforehand. Oh, um, that was. <laughs> so you threw up everywhere on there. The mistake was not that you went to Kobe. No, it was that the is order. Fire. Yeah, Kobe is bomb. But they give you so much food. It's so, so much, so much food. Every and I'll I'll die on this hill. Every Habashi restaurant makes you choose rice. Or not noodles. Kobe. Not Kobe. Rice or what? Noodles. Rice and noodles. Both. And they make you choose soup salad. Dude, those they noodles give you are both. so fire. Not too. if you go to Kyoto, get their their dinner hibachi. They give you both. Rice and noodles? Mm-hmm. Oh. And salad and soup? Kobe, There's also Kobe's that. Kobe's the OG, wow. though. They just, they've always had a place. In my the guy life. we had yesterday was pretty funny, too. He was like. <clears throat> was he squ- squirting sake into your mouth? That oh. sounded so dirty. So, Got to do at least a sake bomb when you hit like, the table I'm and just you like, get him to fall through the chopsticks. <laughs> like um, <in> the- <laughs> he did not squirt his sake in my mouth. Did he do the fake? That's he, my favorite. He did a lot of. He spelled. He spelled well because we were there for a dude's birthday. His name's Scotty, and he spelled his name in rice, which was funny. Like because he did a couple unique things. I you know because some a lot of times it's like the same stuff. Yeah, you got to have unique. Yeah, but like the dude was like. <sighs> He was half Japanese, half Swedish. Really? So he's a white guy. The that, chef? That kind of looked a little Japanese. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was the weirdest thing ever. And because like, uh, the, um, the, my buddy that we were celebrating his birthday, he's like, he's like um, half Filipino, mm-hmm. but he looks like a lot more Asian. He's got like the long, you know, dark hair and stuff. Mm. And so he's just like, he's like, you're more Asian than I am. <laughs> <laughs> But he was just saying stuff like that, and I was just like, that's hilarious. Like, I just. (laughs) I like this guy. Dude, you can upgrade it and get a sniper barrel on your paintball gun. Gabby's for five dollars. Is that just for? Looks? I'm getting a sniper barrel for five dollars. <laughs> be posted up in the back like three house. <laughs> yeah, catch me in the tower. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, no, that's it is sick because it had some multi level. They stuff low key. Too. They shoot like uh, like a paintball gun shoots like um, what's those guns we hate. Oh, the commanders. Manglers. Manglers. Oh, manglers. They shoot like manglers because they'll like they slowly dip. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But you know, yeah, if you need a little so yeah, yeah, yeah. You need, you need, need a, preparation. You need an optic on it that like has the lines, the drop lines. It's gonna rip like a mangler. Yeah. It's honestly not that expensive. Rip like a mangler. Are you looking at battleground? Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. You just have to buy balls and stuff. How much are gun rentals and the games and stuff, or is it all in like packaged? Well, it just depends on how many rounds you get. Say there was four of us, but five of us. Say. Looks like they have a special for twenty one dollars for five hundred rounds. Per person, yeah, that's not bad. We played, we paid thirty seven dollars for laser tag. I imagine you're not playing paintball for two straight hours. That's that's probably a long time. Well, it says on average to play all fields, it takes three to four hours, and five about five hundred paintballs are needed. That's it, five hundred. I feel like for I three could, to four hours. I feel like I could go through those paintballs. Well, it depends if you're just spraying. We know them, how you're trying to be a little more tactical. Are, do you go? Like, I'll tell you. I tell you. Five or what is it? 
I don't know, but they Usually. have group rates. They, for I'm sure they have different plus. types of games. Like they had games where it's you, where you could course. respawn, and I was always the one that respawned the most. If it was unlimited respawns, because I'd be like, I'm just gonna go for it. Like, why not? Like, if I can respawn every time. So but a lot of people words, didn't get that. So it was just like, huh? Like you died the most. Oh it? yeah. Okay. So yeah, you just gosh, run back huge. to the respawn point and just like sit there and like it's like it took like two seconds and then you were back in for laser tag. You're saying? Yeah. I was like, why am I hiding? Yeah. Right. Just. You but know? is it how how does the game end? Is it like kill death type stuff? Like a there were like different a games. Game? So the one you could respawn unlimited was uh, SWAT and convicts. So like there was a line the convicts couldn't cross in the room. That's what I'm reading right now. And then uh, you had the the people on the SWAT team, and so basically they had 100 health. You had like 25 health, but when you died, you could respawn. They couldn't. So <clears throat> SWAT could not. Right. That's an interesting game. Yeah, SWAT versus convicts. That's. That's cool. So that was fun. You know, our, uh, yeah, the host, the guy that hosted us was what, I mean, he was, he was good, is. but it was yeah, like, like yeah, he was just, I mean, he was kind of just the, a guy in his twenties. It was just like, yeah, hey, so it, this is how it works, man. They have eight for yeah. your plan. It's was crazy. it you and a bunch of adults? This, or this, you, yeah, I was over in like a semi. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention earlier. Uh, Altamont. 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 Ooh, they have an aliens game you can play. This crazy, yeah. I'm definitely down for more activities, though. Yeah, just just wear painting clothes because it's definitely messy. A pair of overalls, nuclear yeah. meltdown. What I like about that is that like you're not having to get in a tournament. You don't have to buy a gun. You just go use their stuff yeah. and uh-huh. just kind of just have fun for an hour, and that's it. You know, I like uh, it. They got a zombies game. I'm I'm going for the zombies. I love zombies. Dang. I mean, I that love the fun. idea of zombies. I don't know if I'd actually like it. <laughs> but I'm I'm prepared. I have a few thousand rounds, I think. Frozen paintballs? No, no, no. <laughs> Actual, yeah. That would actually you wonder if a frozen paintball if that would, could penetrate like zombie flesh. I'd have to get the eye socket, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so they probably don't blink. I don't know. I've never seen one blink. <laughs> How many have you seen? Dude, I've seen so many zombie movies. <laughs> I'm just saying. Didn't Walking Dead just recently end for good? Oh, did it? I think so. Don't tell me anything. I, I, I haven't. I haven't watched. It I need in to go like watch it. Years. How many go. seasons are they on now? I've been uh, at least thirteen. Stopped watching. Them. Jeez. Yeah. Well, I just because it's like, like four. It was just I'm just the same shit. I'm exaggerating. I don't know what it is actually, but I loved that show though in the first. Yeah, it was few seasons. Yeah. You know what I loved? Daft Punk. The shirt reminded me. Yeah, I'm so solid. sad about that. They, they broke up. It's like, is that the one that's like Tron? Harder, Tron. better, faster, stronger. Yeah, that was that punk. Okay. Yeah. So was Get Lucky. Cool. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, Star Starboy. They did the music for that. Mm. Good vibes for sure. Yeah. Good vibes. Chip, chip, chip. So what did you uh, what did you guys <laughs> do for holidays, y'all? Like Thanksgiving? Yeah, Thanksgiving, that one. I had a gender reveal because my wife's pregnant. Yeah, that was, that looked pretty cool. Bow, 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 bow. Sorry, do you want me to? Yeah, yeah. No, not That's that one. That's fine. <laughs> uh, one day you'll figure out what Tron it is without going through it all. There, there it is. There it is. I haven't used them in so long, I just forgot where all of them were. Yeah. And the all those kind of a baby is. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. Crazy. She's wrecked my life already. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I'm going on a man. multiple day streak of not crying, so let's try and keep that going. <laughs> try and keep that going. Please, please. Let's make him cry. <laughs> That's and the due, what, due date is what? May 31st. It's gonna be May. <laughs> it's like, I, sneak that in. I can just imagine, I can imagine your wife is just sitting there like watching you cry. Like, are you going to be able to handle this? this? She, guy. <laughs> she's already like said her goodbyes to me. She's like, when this girl comes out, you're going to neglect me. I'm like, that's not true. <laughs> It'll be the other way. Actually, <laughs> yeah, she's going to neglect you. Yeah. So that was my Thanksgiving. Pretty eventful. Uh, yeah, that's eventful. Yeah, that's sweet. That's well, it's sweet. You had the hookup with that dude, dude. That's awesome. Maybe we should explain instead of just saying Luke hooked up with a dude. <laughs> oh well, so Luke's gender reveal. He did a scandalous. <laughs> he he did a like a actual crop dusting plane, and it did the like pink or blue smoke. It but, was sick. 
it was like Sick. a dude that he knows just did that for him. I was just like, that's awesome. Hooked him up. Hooked. Okay. Hooked him up. <laughs> yeah. Not hooked up. You guys didn't hook up. <laughs> right. Yeah. To be very Top clear. I mean, I'm sure he had to hook something up to make it work, but sure. it wasn't like wasn't he hooked, no you, he hooked you up. Right. Hookups. <laughs> Glad we're clear. Yeah. I've certainly never felt that way. Oh, tune up. He gave, I don't know if I've told you guys a story, but he, so they, he flew by first to tell it, show us where he was going to be. And so we were just like, and he was like, is he on comms? Like, are you guys communicating with each yeah, other? Like his wife is on the phone with him. A walkie talkie. And he's like, and he was like so much lower than that. Like, I felt like I could have jumped and touched it. Like that's how low he was. Damn. So he circles back and you can see him. And now, you know, he's about to drop the smoke. So we're just like, <gasps> I'm like, you know, freaking out. <laughs> so he goes by gray smoke. It was nothing but gray. And we're like, oh, it's kind of <laughs> we're letting the baby <laughs> choose his gender. And he's on the phone he's, or hers. <laughs> oh, yes. I messed up. Like I pressed the wrong thing or something. And I'm like, <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> so he's over on a third. It's very progressive of you, Luke. Yeah. That's funny. That's hilarious. Oh, dude, it was like torture. If I was that pilot, I, I would have been like, though. "Gotcha." <laughs> <laughs> I would have played it off yeah. like a joke. Psych. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, something happened. He That's had to funny. circle back a third time. I was like, "This was." I wouldn't wish this on anybody. That's hilarious. Epic. Hey, still so sick. Though. <laughs> That's, That's pretty sick. That's awesome. It's the best screensaver of all time. That's pretty cool. It is cute how she wore blue and you wore pink. Thank you for noticing. I was just about to ask if the, I, yeah, okay. Yeah, we did. We crossed it on, you know. That's funny. Is that because you wanted a girl, she wanted a boy? No, because probably usually it's Vice opposite. Versa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're, but, but you're like, I'm in support of, of the other right. option too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank but you. I, I mean, guarantee you, you <laughs> looked exactly. over and told her like, her. I won. Like, is that, <laughs> it's like, mm, told looks you. like you lost this one. <laughs> she, yeah. was, she was convinced it was a boy. She collapsed to the ground on her knees. Don't they say like <laughs> the hilarious. way that the baby like carries, like before we had these type of things and mm -hmm. the technology, then a lot of but people, she's lot not of even people showing think that like the way that it would show or where yeah, it would a lot of women like to think that, that they know they're just like, oh yeah, you're carrying a girl. It's like they're 50% yeah. of the time well, don't they're they wrong. say that like if it's like if it, hanging if it, lower if it or something, lower it's a boy? Something. Yeah, yeah. I think that just has to do with people's bodies. That Every, makes no everybody sense Everybody says to me. something. That's what yeah. I mean. I mean, dude, I, Christina looked the same for everyone. Like, it's just like, yeah. and clearly different. So, I don't According know. According to Dwight Schrute, if you just keep the uh, womb at a solid temperature of 97 <laughs> degrees, <laughs> guaranteed a boy. Something stupid like that. Oh my gosh! But everyone, I mean, a lot. I remember he was journey, talking about. Got an idea. He was talking about marrying. He's just like, shoot, babies are very hungry. It was like something like that. It was like just, they, they need a lot of milk. <laughs> oh my gosh! Shoot, uh, babies. He's one of those characters where it's like he was so good at Dwight that he could almost never be good at any yeah. other character. Yeah. Because like he was in that like you can't that look Megadon or what was that one movie yeah, about the Megalodon. giant shark? Yeah, yeah, yeah with uh, Jason Statham. And I never, I never even Wasn't saw Wasn't he movie, also in Sahara with uh, yeah, McConaughey? Yeah, I, I don't know. But every time I've ever seen him in anything, it's just like... He's a researcher or a scientist or something. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, why is Dwight <laughs> in the ocean? Doing a crossover. With a shark. Like, why is he not in the office? <laughs> I will say, though, I don't, know why, I don't know why Jason Statham was in a shark movie either. I'm just like... Never watched it. Dude, Jason Statham's a freaking gangster. But Megalodons were like, supposed to have existed, right? Yeah, yeah. But they weren't that big. They were actually, <clears throat> megalodons were about the size of, uh, were less than like the size of a blue whale. I mean, it wasn't like a, like a bus. Or blue something. whale is like the biggest, I think, th being that exists right now. I think blue whales are the biggest. <clears throat> that movie was lame. What? The Meg? Yeah. Yeah. I never saw that. It had potential. I don't, I don't mess was, with movies like that lame. usually. There's been, there's been so many, <laughs> like, there's Jason been so Stephen many, fan. like, a, you can just get out of here. That would totally I mean, be give one me, of JJ's what's, guys. Like, I've what's like your favorite Jason Statham movie? Uh, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, Snatch. Never seen e any of those. Uh, Never Frank, heard Transporter. Of Never seen any seen of those. Serious, guys? Transporter's solid. Get out of here. Never heard of her. All Isn't of he guys. in like the uh, Fast and Furious 9 or something like that? Okay, that's not one of the ones I would <laughs> I would put him on a pedestal for. <laughs> Who is Jason Statham? Oh, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. His, I will say his wife is and, so uh, We're out of time today. <laughs>
<laughs> Isn't his wife that like Rosie Huntington, whatever? Don't know. Would don't you know. rather? Would you rather she Jason Statham or uh, what's his name, Gerard Butler? In okay, what in type of prime? movie? What type of movie? Best movie up against best movie, respectively. <sighs> Yeesh. Snatch is a really good movie, but it's it's it was it came out in like two thousand. What's the best Gerard Butler movie? I mean, we're talking everything. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a lot. Isn't um, he the one that? Isn't he the one that did three hundred or no? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, he wins. Yeah, that's so that movie is sick. so nasty. I really liked Gamer a lot. I too, can't believe though. I didn't remember that. I think I would probably vote Jason Statham over. Three hundred was life changing. Just the cinematography, like the yeah. way that they did. Yeah, it was crazy. That, that was a that was a groundbreaking movie. Yeah, it was. Um, Kicking that buddy into the well. If you're talking, but if you're profession. talking about if you're talking about straight up action, like uh, Jason Statham wins that one. Mm-hmm. And I mean, go across the board, that's fair. Action. What about a uh, uh, law abiding citizen? I was just about to say that. Oh. Great movie, but that's also Jamie, like one of those Jamie intellect, Fox like kind of more complex on the plot. I love those. Yeah, Jamie Foxx is talented man. Very, he is potentially the most talented. So talented, jack of all trades. He, he can is, do it all. But uh, half of his parts that he plays, like, I feel like just annoy me. But he is very talented. He's, uh, isn't he doing something that's coming out soon where he plays Mike Tyson? Is I don't he? know. I think so. I never. And his, his impersonations are so, so good. Like, un- have you ever heard him do Donald Trump? No. <laughs> no. Dude, you will just laugh for days. It is, it he is, if sing. you close your mind, you're like, it's him. Like, it's like, he gets it so perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's just great. Cause Jamie Foxx is just this super iconic black dude yeah. who just nails the Donald Trump. Yeah, That's awesome. <laughs> like voice is so perfectly. Yeah. He's nuts. If you want a good laugh. He's nuts. He's just like the type of personality that just, you want him on your talk show every night. Cause he'll just make yeah. the show. He hosts that Shazam show. Have you guys ever seen that? Mm-mm. People just like guess song because you know what Shazam is the app, right? Yeah. You're like, it, you have to like beat Shazam, Shazam at the end. That's the movie with the genie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Him and his daughter like host that show. Cute. Nice. That's right. Well, don't want to take too much of your time today, folks. We're past 40 minutes in this new format. We're going shorter, but we'll come out with another one next week. We were kind of behind and we had some vacations and stuff and people out of town. It'll be extra offensive. Extra offensive. Yeah. So for the birth potty. month of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right. Justin's winding up. <laughs> <laughs> had to give I him a teaser. Absent for you the know? Next one. Yeah. <laughs> had to wet the whistle a little bit. Anyway. All right. Peace, y'all. See ya. Bye.